So let me see if I can give you an example to illustrate the relationship between the mind and the brain. If you consider a clay vase. Now it is perfectly true to say that vase is made up of clay and you could describe it in terms of the chemical composition of the clay. Just as you can describe the mind as being made up of the brain and the neurons and the chemicals within it. Without the clay, the vase can't exist. Without neurons and the brain, mind cannot exist. However, it's not very satisfactory to explain a vase by the chemical composition of the clay. We would much prefer and find it easier to understand it in terms of something that's being created with a purpose in mind and that vase may go on and have flowers and those flowers may have emotional significance and this whole thing gets a new context that can't be captured by chemical formulae. In just the same way mind is dependent on brain and neurons but it's not very satisfactory or helpful to explain human behavior, human experience in terms of neurons.